Also, she didn't really know her husband. There are a lot of procedural shows out there, but out of all of them, The Rookie, Feds, is just on a new level of its own. They make each episode more exciting than the next, and fans just can't wait for the next to come out. In this video, we've compiled a list of the best shows just like The Rookie, Feds. You messed up my case so bad that no one's gonna want to touch me. First up is The Rookie. Given that Feds is a spinoff of The Rookie, it only makes sense that fans of the show would enjoy the main show. The guy enlists in the LAPD after a very tragic incident in his life, but it takes a lot of work to be the force's oldest rookie. He has to face many challenges, but he finds a way to get past them. The tone of the two shows is identical, and The Rookie also has a likable lead character to carry the audience through the season. The cases are always interesting, but John Nolan's problems keep viewers turning in each week, earning a spinoff after after only a few seasons is very impressive, and The Rookie has earned its place as a complete franchise. Moving on, we have Castle. The plot of Castle focuses on the successful mystery writer Richard Castle. When an actual murder happens, similar to one of his works, he's dragged into the non-fictional world of law enforcement and finds that he enjoys it there. He and Detective Kate Beckett work on unusual and weird situations that can't be solved in normal ways. Fans of The Rookie Feds have many reasons to check out Castle. This 2009 program has a similar blend of comedy and drama, a concentration on criminal investigation, and a distinct protagonist. Nathan Fillion plays the writer in Castle, and anyone who liked his acting in The Rookie will appreciate his performance in Castle. The show also involves Castle and Beckett's relationship. Sometimes the mysteries take a back place to their drama. Because of this, Castle has more complexity than the standard police procedures and is a big reason why it was so well liked. After all, those awards and nominations weren't for nothing. Coming up is Bones. Bones is considered one of the best procedural series of all time because it blended science with the typical cop show concept. A seasoned agent partners up with a forensic anthropologist to investigate crimes involving odd skeletal evidence. Even though they had a pretty limited theme, the series never ran out of compelling plots over its long run, and the show ended at the perfect moment before it started to get too repetitive and overstate its welcome. Feds fans would appreciate the show's sense of humor since it was one of the few shows that used dark humor to its full potential. We can't forget about The Blacklist. The Blacklist transformed itself from a simple procedural to an actual drama series with a recognizable cast of actors. After running away for many years, a former FBI agent decides to help the Bureau capture a few criminals they'd been struggling to find. The series, like Feds, has a strong character storyline with the criminal investigation as the cherry on top. The Blacklist is probably one of the best shows about the FBI, even if it doesn't have the same sort of pseudo-comedic tone that Feds does. Up next is The Mindhunter. The Mindhunter is a twisted version of Feds and goes into some of the worst crimes in American history. The show follows a criminal profiler as he tries to bring a scientific technique to police work by questioning notable killers to spot the pattern. The show is a dark reflection on the nature of crime and its impact on the mental health of those who study it. It's known for its realistic representation of serial killers. Certainly more mature than Feds, the show is still worth seeing for anybody who likes the FBI aspects of Feds. Just be aware that this is isn't lighthearted in any way. Moving forward with LA's Finest. LA's Finest, a Bad Boys spin-off, debuted on television screens. With 2020's Bad Boys for Life, the franchise was able to re-enter the public eye again. Then there was the 2016 Lethal Weapon TV series, which demonstrated that buddy police movies could also make it to the small screen. Though LA's Finest doesn't have much of a connection to the Bad Boys plot, it's enough to hook viewers who stick around for the great storytelling. Gabriel Union plays Marcus Burnett. Burnett's sister, Sydney Burnett, from Bad Boys 2. She teams up with Jessica Alba's Nancy McKenna. As part of the Robbery Homicide Division, these two LAPD detectives collaborate to investigate a series of heinous crimes. The show's investigation and FBI vibes are much like Fed's, especially the humor. Though the series had a rocky start, it soon found its feet. This could be because the show's two leads have great chemistry. Unfortunately, the show was cancelled after only two seasons, but there's plenty of stuff for interested viewers to enjoy. Next is Blue Bloods. Regarding real crime shows, Blue Bloods is one of the best. It's a police procedural created by Mitchell Burgess and Robin Green, who worked on The Sopranos. It stars veteran actor Tom Selleck, who plays police commissioner Frank Reagan. The huge Irish-American Reagan household is heavily involved in New York City law enforcement. Frank's dad and several children work for the NYPD. Donnie Wahlberg, Bridget Moynihan, Will Estes, and Len Carreyu star as members of the Reagan family. Blue Bloods isn't all that different from Feds, despite the location 
communication shift and focus on family conflict. At their core, both series explore how the personal lives of police officers connect with their jobs. Simone Clark's difficulties might seem a little different compared to this, but they always boil down to the same thing, career versus family. Blue Bloods has always had strong ratings according to TV by the numbers. It's also won and been nominated for several awards, including an Emmy for Best Stunt Coordination, so you can trust that it'll be a great show to watch. Coming up we have FBI. Even though they handle the subject matter differently, Feds and FBI make great companion shows. The series focuses on the FBI's NYC field office and follows the day-to-day -day life of the agents who work on some of the government's most serious crimes. Despite being on opposite sides, both shows' field office politics are very similar. FBI gives a unique insight into the workings of a regular field office while keeping us captivated by all the drama the characters have going on. The series is the work of producer Dick Wolf, and it lives up to his typically high standards of procedural production. Up next is Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds managed to perfect the FBI procedural formula like no other. The show follows the FBI's elite criminal profiling division as it uses innovative psychological techniques to find the locations of murderers and other criminals. Criminal Minds produced a wide range of cases over its years on the air, some of which were downright disturbing. The show is mostly based on true events, but they change a few things here and there to make it more dramatic. While it doesn't have the comedic tone of the rookie Feds, it's as engaging for fans of Feds since it's still a procedural drama. Following up with NCIS, NCIS has been running for over 20 years and has long been the standard for investigation-type shows for years. The show follows the Naval Criminal Investigative Service as they try to investigate some of the most high-profile murder cases in the country. Although it's not directly about the FBI, the show's governmental aspect makes it familiar to Feds viewers. Plus, the series makes sure to invest in character development so that even the most compelling cases are well-balanced with interpersonal drama. Even though NCIS has experienced many changes throughout the years, it continues to offer the same procedural action that fans have come to expect. Finally, we have Elementary. Arthur Conan Doyle's stories have always been loved, especially his character Sherlock Holmes. The character has appeared on screens, large and small, on many different occasions. Elementary modernized the stories and put Holmes's quest in the hustle and bustle of modern-day New York City. The primary character in Feds is a newbie attempting to find her place in the FBI. The main character in Elementary is also new to the idea of criminal investigation. Even though there are many adaptations of Sherlock Holmes, Elementary breathed new life into the character. The show is a little different from the normal procedural, making it so appealing to people. That's a wrap for today's video. Was there any other show like The Rookie Feds that we might have missed? Make sure to let us know in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos like this one. We'll see you next time. Okay, well, have the medic bring them out. Uh-uh, no, uh, you get one of mine, I get one of yours, I keep the medic.